You know you're not supposed to be up here. You know I'm trying to film, right? Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of the AZ Melody and I show. My name is Jerry Bryant. We have an awesome show for you guys today. Cassie from Frequence will be joining us in just a minute. But before we get to that, please be sure to swing by Frequence's Facebook page at facebook.com slash F-R-E-Q-U-I-S. That's facebook.com slash Frequence. And also visit their official website at Frequence.com. You can pick up this bad boy CD right here. It's an incredible CD. I, have, I got it about three or four weeks ago and have not stopped listening to it. That's the honest truth. Literally, to work and home from work every day. This is in my stereo in my car. Um, some of my favorite songs on that are Behold Your Worth, uh, uh, Julia's Confession, Uncovered Eyes, but my favorite song is Fairy Tale Lie. All those songs are great. Uh, definitely pick that up. And then if you want to follow what AZ Metal Unites is doing, um, please visit us at facebook.com slash AZ Metal Unites. And we have a brand new official website up, just www.azmetalunites.com. Check that out. Like us on Facebook and share it with all your friends. We really appreciate it. Now enjoy the interview with Cassie, guys. Hey, everybody. Please welcome my co-host for today, my brother, Bobby. Where How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Uh, we have Cassie from Frequence here today. Hi. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being here. Of course. Thanks uh, for having me. I'm surprised so many bands accepted this since we just kicked it off. So to have you on as one of our first, uh, it's an honor. Thank you. Yeah, I'm popping the cherry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's just get to it. Uh, any news on the band? New shows? Yeah. Amazing? Well, as you, a lot of people know, we lost our bass player. Yeah. Um, but we got a new one in, and he's actually very familiar with the scene. You know, he's been around in a couple of bands before us, and um, so we have Lane. Ba he, we have Lane. That's his name. <laughs> um, he's in our band now, so we had um, we had one big show a couple weeks ago, and now we're here enough to have a really fun one on uh, September 26th. It's at Joe's Grotto. It's an all ages thing. It's actually going to be a we can't wait for Halloween costume shtick. Oh, awesome! <laughs> because like obviously, I uh, everyone knows that I like to dress up. I feel that um, being a performer, like I like to entertain in all yeah. ways and. Whatever, I, I like Halloween and people don't stare at me as much if I wear it like during a show. Um, so yeah, September 26th at Joe's Grotto, uh, we can't wait for Halloween costume show. There'll be uh, prizes and you know costume contests and just oh, awesome. general melee for everyone. It's awesome. <laughs> awesome. And if you haven't seen Frequence Live, you have to. Um, you guys bring a lot of energy uh, to the stage. Is there anything to do before the show to get you amped up? Pre-show rituals? Um, try not to drink too much. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good one. Yeah, well, that, that's that's normally after at the after party. Um, no, I, I, I the, the pre-show jitters. You know, I yeah. normally I normally do like a quick change because again, like I, I like to wear something kind of cool or at least what I think is cool. So I'll go well, I'll go run off and change really quick. Pre-show, no, just take it easy and have yeah. a good time and relax. But and then go out there and completely black out and do something ridiculous. <laughs> the adrenaline of being on stage. There, there'll be people coming up to me after the show and be like, oh, it's so awesome! And I don't remember doing that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, you guys have played some big shows, uh, made music videos, created great music, been on KUPD. What have been some of the main highlights of being in Frequence? Well, I have. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get mushy here, but the uh, the best part of of Frequence was me becoming a part of it. Right. I've been wanting to do this since I was knee high to a grasshopper, and now I get to, and I get to do it with people that I truly love, that are like my best That's awesome. friends. Yeah. Um, every single one of them, I feel, is like a soulmate of mine. It's cool. So, but besides that, there was, I mean, last year we did, you know, almost every big festival. Yeah. yeah. And um, that was just getting to perform in front of like, you know, new faces, you know, the old faces we love in their family, getting, you know, new faces there. I have to say though, the coolest was you fest Now, the reason being the show itself was kind of, 
It wasn't the best. Energy was great because we'll always bring it. We're like, oh, we're freaking sucking right now. Let's just give them a show. And that's even when I'll, I'll probably scream a lot more if I can't hear myself because no. like, who cares? And like run around and do crazier stuff no. when I can't. You know, when we know the sound's not so good. But that show was amazing because, I mean, we were on the main stage. It was like, it was our first, you know, festival. Mm -hmm. And, um... And then coming off of the stage and then walking to like our little merch tent that we had probably about 200 yards away from, you know, the stage took me about two hours to get oh, to wow. um, our little merch booth because so many people wanted to, wanted to hug, wanted to say how much we rocked and whether it's one person or 1,000 people That's appreciating awesome. our music yeah, absolutely. is really, really solid. Yeah. I felt like a, that, I, that was the first day that I felt like a rock star. <laughs> or at least one in training or, you know, whatever. <laughs> Not going to pretend that I am one, but... <laughs> and then to, uh, since I'm horrible at coming up with questions, uh, what you will see on the show is we will go to our... What we shamelessly plug our band real quick right no, running. No, go for it. <laughs> and uh, Bob's going to draw out a few questions, just random questions. Ooh, to see uh -huh. oh. All right. The suspense is killing me. Hey, can I cuss? Cause I'm... Oh, you can cuss. Oh, great. Okay, see, I'm just trying to make sure. You know, I'm trying to be a good girl, but it fucking never works. There we go. That's not great. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are some of the bands that you are currently listening to? Okay. I'm going to lose some friends on this one. All right. Because <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um... Right now, like in my car right now, I am listening to, I went and saw The Crosses show, which is um, Chino from Def, uh, Deftones' other little side project. There's a band that opened up for them called uh, Jameson, J-M-S-N. Really cool, ambiotic music that I really dig. Um, I also have a hodgepodge of, <laughs> of show tunes and uh, <laughs> opera because no, no. that's my jam. <laughs> So rock and roll. Um, and also there's a local band called Bear Ghost that I absolutely flip and love. They're so phenomenal. Um, always listening now to Howitzer. I really have a lot of, I have a lot of local bands in my car. I have like Whiskey Six, Vex, Howitzer, um, Black Metal Box. Uh, I do have Sigmonics in there as well. Um, so, I mean, it kind of bounces back and forth. I also, I have to practice a lot for my car. That my job, I'm in a cover band, so sometimes I'll have really random stuff that I'm not even going to mention. <laughs> Probably already lost some fans as of now, so <laughs> use your use your imagination. But I try to keep it local. I, I really, I really do. That's awesome. Well, I'm an opera singer too, so yay! Woohoo! That's, opera, opera. that's just like it's just like any like you know guitarist or musician. You know, they dabble. You should. I really think right. you should dabble in the classics a little bit and really. Yeah broaden your horizons and I think like a nice foundation of classical stuff really can help anyone as a musician or even even train your ears a little bit even if you're not a musician just a music lover yeah yeah absolutely agree that's not too thanks <laughs> wow this one goes right along with that what are some some of your major vocal influences oh okay well first and foremost my favorite musician of all time hands down bar none is uh Freddie Mercury that dude had it all. That whole band just had it flooping all. He was a classically trained singer, yet brought a show. He brought good oh, rock yeah, and yeah. roll. I Absolutely. mean, he was the whole package. And his, his the band, they were the whole package from... And they were doing something so out of the box. Yeah. And, and it's so hard to be inventive these days, even then, you know, with, with how quickly rock progressed over the decades, you know, from its birth, which wasn't that long ago to where it was when Queen was rocking. So he definitely is like the epitome of, you know, vocalist big time. There's a couple, there's a couple of female, like Kathleen Battle, you know, Sarah Brightman, some opera singers. I love Sarah Brightman. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. There's actually, this is going to sound really silly, but um, after meeting and actually seeing this band and this uh, female vocalist live, um, Hailstorm, Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm is just one rock and roll chick. I mean, she's running around in ginormous heels, which I won't even do on stage. Because <laughs> I'll fall on my fucking face. 
Um, but she's playing, and then she's got the most powerful freaking rock sound. And Erin, come off stage, she's the coolest broad ever. I mean, that to me is, is you know, a role model, is somebody that I would, you know, I look up to very, very much. And she's out there doing the next to impossible. Yeah. You know, being a, a female in, in, a, in the rock industry, you, already, you, you automatically get typecast as something, and that's fine. Um, but she's she's the real deal, and I'm definitely proud to say that she's one of my rock sisters for sure. So. I, I can't stand that band, but she has an amazing voice. I absolutely agree with that. Yeah, you got it. You know, at least the one thing, like I don't know, incredible a lot of power. People, exactly. One thing that uh, I really what I appreciate about at least about musicians, the ones that have a little bit more open mind, is exactly what you said. May or may not be into a specific player, the music, or even the show, but you got it. But giving someone respect where the talent is due, and yeah. I think that. And frequency, that's all that we really strive. We just, you know, we just want people to enjoy it or, you know, respect us and, and stuff like that. But I, I love that, though. May not like that person or the band, but can yeah. dig, dig talent where talent should be appreciated. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. What else we got here? Excellent. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can't take you have to tell me I can't take it. What was the most memorable concert that you've attended? That I've attended? Ooh. Yes. Mm. That's a hard one to read. That is, that was, that's a really hard one. Um, well, this is, this is difficult. I've seen many. Um, dude. That is very hard. That is hard. I, I remember the first concert I ever went to. My mother took me to see Aerosmith. That was the Ooh, first concert oh, I ever went that's to. An awesome that, was, that was legit. Yes. <laughs> my mom was amazing. Steven Tyler is um, my favorite vocalist of all time. Oh, yeah. He's another, he's another great one. Um, I saw Muse a long time ago at Mesa Amphitheater, and it blew my mind mm -hmm. how spot on he was. Um, and I'm going to preemptively say, because I haven't gone yet, it's next week on Tuesday, but I will be seeing Sir Paul McCartney, and <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to take the cake for sure. I also um, saw Paul Rogers and Queen at yeah. the Hollywood Bowl, and that was pretty legit. Yeah, so um, there's been, and then there's been a handful of local shows. Like when I went, the first time I saw Bex, I was just like, you know, you need to pack your shit up and go home because <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, so I love I love all those types of, especially going to see a really stellar local show. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I think you're just good answer for anyone. Feels like too much. This one though. Do, 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 do. What is your favorite frequent song to play live? Oh, see, I like that because what is my favorite frequent song is one thing, and then <laughs> what is my favorite frequent song to play live is another thing. Um, uh, we have a song off of our full-length album called Uncovered Eyes. It's a very, it's it's heavier, you know, there's a, you know, a section of screaming right before, you know, right before the hook. And it's kind of like a break free of becoming a sheep sort of kind of anthem. The chorus is, is um, it, 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 you know, uncover your eyes, break these chains that bind you, you know, you know, break down the walls that, you know, it just, which is something that I'm very much try to you know advocate right. um so that is my favorite one to sing live just because i cannot help but really get in people's faces and bring a lot of energy and i get it back too and that's yeah, that's yeah. awesome so um i feel that the live version is a hell of a lot better than the album version not that it's bad on the album but it just doesn't do it justice and i actually think that um the album is fantastic as it is doesn't do frequency justice like seeing us live is something that is visually and audially like very, very different. But Uncovered Eyes, to answer your question. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's funny, I've been like that with bands I've been in where my favorite songs that, to listen to, I've hated to play live. <laughs> it's like, I love listening to this one, but I can't stand to play it. <laughs> uh, what are some of your hobbies and interests outside of music? Um, I thoroughly, you know, I'm a, I'm a weird cookie. I'm into everything <laughs> or lots of, lots of different things. For instance, like you'll find me, I, I do a lot of culinary stuff. Um, I love cooking. I love, love eating, unfortunately. 
Um, I love being outdoors when it's not so damn hot. Yeah. Um, I love playing video games. I love, I'm a social butterfly to a certain extent. I love being around people. Mm. Um, I, I love traveling. Traveling is, now that, you know, I'm older and, you know, I'm a very poor musician. <laughs> um, I, I do love traveling. I'll go back uh, to San Diego often. Um, I don't know, just, I love do, doing anything new and fun and being around people and out and about, you know, I'm hyper, so. Staying at home, sitting on the couch really just doesn't sit, doesn't sit well with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's the last question we have on the mug of the Rat Funny. I just have one more question. What are your opinions on the current metal and rock scene? Not that mine really matters, but since you asked, <laughs> um, I think... I think we're in need of a little bit more camaraderie, honestly. I absolutely agree. I, well, I, I, haven't, agree. Yes. I haven't been a part of, of this scene very long. Um, unfortunately, I was discovered or whatever. I became a part of it, you know, later in life. And so, but in this, in this short period of time that I have been a part of it, I've seen when I first joined this crazy cool camaraderie and all, and then I don't know what happened lately, but I've seen a flux in a lot of, you know, bands and, and, and silly and silly things that wasn't wasn't always there before and if I could because you know what if one person makes it we all make it and to be perfectly honest that it's a pinhole of a chance that anybody right. gets any opportunity so why don't we do what music and any genre of music is supposed to be and just have fun and make it you know and, and you know and, and interact with each other and have a good time because that's when, when it's all said and done you know, when we're all like 50, 60 years old and, you know, not rock stars, I want to look back and think about how much fun it was yeah. and, all the, and all the other people we got to make music with. Yeah. It's not That's a competition. That's one of the things we're trying to do. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Which is why I was totally, I was very excited to be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got our own band and everything, but I mean, outside of that, I mean, what we're doing here has nothing to do with our music. You know, we, we do want to just be able to get out there and, and promote as many bands as we can, you know, I've, I've got friends, you know, in so many bands, and it's like, the bass player you guys just lost, I was good friends with, uh, and I don't know who your new bass player is, but I think I actually might be friends with him, too. Social but, media makes it so <laughs> easy for all of us to be friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's just what we're trying to do, is just help out, you know, and, and be a place for that camaraderie to, Absolutely. you know, come from there's so much talent in this state there's so much talent in this state and why not have like and why not showcase it like honestly like i say it again like one person makes it we all make it because you know we'll remember the people that were kind to us we'll remember all some talented musicians so hey you know ride on people's coattails and have a good time and help each other out you'll never know you'll never know because you'll get more bees with honey that's what i'm saying absolutely <laughs> And uh, speaking of social media, where can people find Frequus? You can find Frequus all over the place, but just if you want to consolidate into one area that will link you all over, you can go to www.frequus.com, and that is spelled F-R-E-Q-U-I-S, and that'll have, that's like our main web page, which is a pretty stellar page, and then it'll take you to our Facebook, our Instagram, our whatever else you kids utilize that I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it doesn't have a controller, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah, you can find all of our info there. Our Facebook is definitely the, the place to be. We all, each individual band member has a Facebook too, and we're really avid about interacting with people. And not, not that we're like that big of a deal, but mm -hmm. I, I got a good chunk of friends on my Facebook, and I <laughs> hang out and talk to them. <laughs> If they ever want to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so again, check out Frequist September 26th. Yeah, wear a costume. <laughs> At uh, Joe's Grotto? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It was a me. pleasure. Thank you. God, reach. <laughs> so yeah, check out Frequist. Yes. Do it. Or I'll find you. God. Oh, my, my, my Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs>
wear a costume, buy their CD. You can find lyric videos on YouTube. I highly recommend those. They're awesome. Also go to their Facebook page and their uh, official website. The links will be down in the description. Also, if you want more information on AZ Metal Unites, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash AZ Metal Unites, for the latest interviews and everything that we got going on. And then join us next time. We'll have Rudy T. Riley from Altered Silence. Thanks, guys.